In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to replace clips and how um, and why replacing clips is so important. So here is a trailer that I did and it's voiceover, music, stock footage. First thing you can see is a lot of different things going on. Gap clips, uh, text, all this stuff. So on this edit, I had to do a lot of replacements. So let's say the client liked this footage, uh, for instance, but she wanted the footage to start when a hand was coming up. See that hand right there? And I had the hand not coming up with that footage. So to see, first of all, when I do a replace, you can do three types of replaces. And to see how long this clip is, you click on it right here, double click on the timeline, 13 seconds. So that's 13 seconds, eight frames. To see how long this clip, clip is, click on it, double click it, four seconds, 20 frames, all right? So we're doing at 30 frames per second and um, we want to replace this. So let's let's do this first. Let's say if we want to replace this with her going like right here. First thing, so I click that range and that's four seconds and nine frames. All right, and remember this right here, it is what? Four seconds and 20 frames. So we have some options. So I can replace it once I put the clip right over it. I have replace from start, replace, and then replace from end. And then if I want to add an audition, that's an entirely different tutorial. But right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace it. And then it shortens it a little bit. So if I just replace it right there, it goes that way. So let's go and let's try to replace from end. When I click on it, replace from end, it takes the end point and then it puts it there. Okay. Now this really is really, really interesting when you have clips that um, in the old Final Cut, you can have something called clip collision. And um, when you have clips that you need to move around. So let's try to replace something that's longer and watch what happens with this right here. Let's just replace it. And then I'm going to hit replace. Watch what happens. It moves that up. Okay. It moves it up to make sure that it's good. Now, if I were to replace this right here, and I'm just going to hit replace from start. There it is. It just puts it right in from the starting point, and then it takes from the starting point what I have up here to the time five seconds there, and five seconds in from the starting point I have. Or if I want to do a replace from in, it's going to take the ending point as a priority and then replace that way. So the easy way to remem remember replace from end is remember it's going to take the ending point. You see where that's ending right there? See on that up here, I'm ending with a hand getting her. It's ending right there. So it's the end of the clip the priority or the start of the clip is priority. Or if you just want to replace the entire clip, let's just say I want to replace this entire clip. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to hit replace and then everything moves down. Okay. So it's really a choice that you want to have. And then you have to know the timing and everything like that. So that's just a brief tutorial on replacing clips. Um, we'll do some more tutorials on auditions and how that works in Final Cut Pro 10. But I think with you have a lot of different clips and you need to go ahead and, and replace them. This is a very, very intuitive way uh, how to uh, replace clips, especially if you're doing a complex edit. Take care.